currently 19 years old, and I'm still an undergraduate student in college. And yes, I think that I'm crazy enough to change the world. My story starts when I was around 12 years old. I was sitting in the car and waiting at a red light. I saw emissions coming out of the exhaust of the car in front of me. And what I realized was, why not tackle global pollution at the source itself? Why not create technology that tackle real-world problems? As I started looking into it, there's over 60 million cars produced every year. And each one of these is just the tip of the iceberg. There's over 1.7 billion motor vehicles in the world today. Each one is contributing to over 2.4 million pounds of carbon dioxide being released into the environment every second. So I thought something needs to be done, not only for ourselves, but for future generations to come. And at a young age, I started looking into technology. What I realized was, you can have great new technology, you can have great social and political movements, but if you don't have an environment to live in, if you don't have air to breathe, if you don't have electricity to turn on your lights, do you really have anything at all? People used to always tell me that you want to grow up and change the world. I would always reply to them with a naughty grin on my face and say, it's pretty hard to change the world if you don't have a planet to live in. So from there, I started designing the future that I wanted to see. I started building the change that I really wanted. And so I did what any other kid would do, and I moved my lab directly into my bedroom. I started sleeping on one side of the room and started working on my lab materials on the other. My first project, it went from just the drawings on an envelope to a real product, is a device that fits directly onto the exhaust of any emission source and reduces carbon dioxide in our atmosphere through photosynthesis of algae and acid-based reduction. Basically, the device captures carbon dioxide and uses it for photosynthesis of algae and converts it into oxygen and biomass for the algae solution. The applications for the device are far and many. For motor vehicles, for industrial plants, coal factories, wherever there is carbon dioxide being released. So imagine a world where all those 1.7 billion motor vehicles are not producing carbon dioxide that's being released into the environment. We would drastically decrease our global pollution and thus our effect on, on greenhouse gases. I've already done work with environmental systems. Why not work with um, energy solutions? I remember at a young age, I was working with cars, and uh, what I realized was energy is not very efficient, and a lot of energy is being lost through wasted heat energy. So was there any way to capture that heat energy and transform it into something usable like electricity? I started looking into things like the Peltier effect and thermoelectric conductors, where you can use a temperature gradient to capture wasted heat energy and convert it into usable electricity. So currently, I'm working uh, not on, on the transportation motor vehicle side, but more on, on, on a consumer end. I'm working on a wristwatch. That on one side, it's a smartwatch, and you flip the watch around, and the other side, you can charge your cell phone or anything else using the wasted heat from your body itself. So imagine a world where we're completely off the grid, and we're using energy sources that are all around us. The watch is still a work in progress. And I think from there, I had the biggest epiphany of all. What I realized was there's other kids out there, um, especially around 12 or 13, that have these crazy ideas, that have these goals and aspirations that might be bigger than themselves. So I'm currently working on an online platform, kind of like a quirky for the youth, where students can go in and submit a crazy project idea, aspiration, or even a passion they may have. And, it, and if we think the project's viable, we'll create a prototype and send it directly back to them, and then help them with development. The purpose of this is that I, I was thinking about it, but what if every child in the world grew up thinking that they had the resources and they had the opportunity to do something great and to, to, to change the world with, in, in their own field or in their own respect? And I think it's because I was crazy enough to dream and to pursue that the world could be different that I founded my own company, Ecoviate. At Ecoviate, we are passionate about making sustainability economical. We just happen to make green technologies that are eco-friendly and cost-effective. I think the ultimate plan with Ecoviate is to create cool energy and environmental technologies, power others to do the exact same, and hopefully have some fun in the process. One of my role models, Steve Jobs, once said that the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that actually do. And I think what Jobs was getting at is that it takes a certain type of someone that thinks a little differently, that thinks crazy and out of the box to create the change they want to see. But at the end of the day, the timer for the planet and the environment is still ticking. We still face all these problems in our society and in our environment. As a community, we have to come together to create the change we want to see. Thank you.